Hey guys, it's Kajar here again. Today I'm going to talk about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And the confusion thing is... One thing that you find confusion, confusing is that... How is Krom playable, but he's still a part of Robin's Final Smash? I mean, to be honest, I kind of thought that they were going to change that, but not anymore. Because Krom is now playable, but he's also still a part of Robin's Final Smash. How does that work? So... So, Krom is basically both. He's the final Smash used character and, and a character that's also playable. So, if Krom can get the playable Final Smash treatment, if he could get the treatment of being a playable character and being a part of Robin's Final Smash and Smash Ultimate, guys, I'm not joking. Check, check out Krom's Final Smash. I'm not Krom's Final Smash, I mean Robin's Final Smash. Check out Robin's Final Smash. He still summons Krom after Robin's playable. After Krom became playable. After Krom became playable, Robin still kept his final smash. But not trying to attack or anything, but Nintendo. Why did you put... Just a curious question. Why did you change Pal... Not Palatine, I mean Pit's final smash. From the Final Smash Bros. summons Palutena, and then, and then eventually, Palutena becomes pretty much her own playable character. So, so why isn't so, so? How come Krom is a part of that Final Smash, but Pit doesn't gain his Final Smash back from Brawl? Just being curious, and also. Just being curious on what what's going on, guys. I want to know: Is there a possibility that that Smash Bros. Ultimate? Like, to be honest, why is it that? So another question I want to ask is: How come Lucas, Doctor, how come Lucas and Doctor Mario are not considered as Echo Fighters? I mean, to be honest, in my opinion, they should be considered as Echo Fighters, but to be honest, they're not. I mean, in my opinion, the reason why I think Dr. Mario should be an Echo Fighter is because he has the exact same moveset as Mario. And he has the exact same Final Smash as Mario, but to be honest, instead of it being a Final Smash... Instead of it being a Final Smash, it was completely different. But another question I had is... How come Lucas is not considered as an Echo Fighter? <clears throat> Just a curiosity. Just want some answers because I would like to know why um, Lucas is not considered as an Echo Fighter. Even though his moveset is a bit similar to Ness, which makes him a semi Echo Fighter, I guess. One is another question I would like to ask is Will Ash Hat Pikachu ever be a costume in Smash Ultimate? Like Ash Hat Pikachu would be a great echo fitter for Pikachu. I was thinking more of like Raichu, but I was thinking to myself, nah, that's never gonna work. <clears throat> a few more questions I have to ask Nintendo. Another question I would like to ask is Why was Young Link cut from Brawl? My question is why is Young Link cut from Smash Brothers Brawl and Smash 4? To be honest, was there like technology difficulties or or modeling problems or something? Is that the reason why Young Link wasn't in Smash Ultimate I mean Smash 4 and Brawl? Was there not enough room for him in the roster? Just being curious. Because I want to know why Young Link was exclu excluded from Smash Ultimate. I mean, not Smash Ultimate. I mean, Smash 4 and Brawl. Another question is... I have one question. My next question is, why was Roy excluded from Brawl? 
just a curiosity because I want to learn more info on this. Like, like I started playing as Roy in Smash Bros. 4, and to be honest, his movesets are awesome. To be honest, I never actually got to play as Roy in Brawl because he was removed. And my question is why... Another question I have is why wasn't Mewtwo in Smash 4? I mean, no, 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 no. Not Smash 4, I meant to say Brawl. Why wasn't Mewtwo in Smash Brothers Brawl? Just another question, because... Was it designing difficulties or something? Is it because the roster was too big for Mewtwo or something? I have no idea, to be honest. Maybe I just want curiosity. Will... Just wanted to know why Mewtwo was excluded from Smash Brothers Brawl. Another question is, why was Dr. Mario excluded from Smash Brothers Brawl? I mean, I would like to have an answer to that too, because I mean, I mean, I think Dr. Mario should be considered as an Echo Fighter, because a lot of people consider Dr. Mario as a clone character, but nobody goes by that term anymore. So Nintendo, if you're watching this, or Sakura, if you're watching this, please answer my questions. I'm not gonna ask why, um, the thing I'm not gonna ask is why Nana and Popo were non Smash. I heard something about Nana and Popo getting in and the 3DS got set on fire and something. So, yeah, I'm not gonna ask that. Another question I would like to ask is. What? The only question I would like to ask is, why was... Look. Another question I would like to ask is, if Chrome is playable in Smash Ultimate, but still in a, a part of a final Smash, how come characters like Proto Man and Fiora, how come characters like Proto Man and Fiora won't get, can't get the same treatment? I mean, if Krom could get the same treatment, then Fiora and Proto Man could get the same treatment. Obviously. Another question is, will Shadow ever become playable? I mean, to be honest, in my opinion, I don't think he's going to become playable, but... People kept leaking images of Shadow being playable in Smash Ultimate. And Shadow's not playable. I try telling them that Shadow's not playable, and they won't accept the fact that Shadow's playable. And also, also Sakurai, is Waluigi really gonna be an assist trophy? To be honest, I mean I know that he is, but this is just a question to the Smash fans, so that way they'll stop claiming that Waluigi is a playable character when he's not. Because people are actually mad. People aren't even madder that their favorite character, Waluigi, is betrayed by the sister of the. Another question I have is Is it true that any of the assist trophies might be promoted to assist characters? I mean, any of the assist trophies might be promoted as playable characters? Like, to be honest, like, is there a possibility that Shadow, Knuckles, Waluigi, or, um, or. Or any, or Lin, or Samurai Goro, Goraya will be promoted to playable characters. Like, will that be possible? My next question is: Is it possible for Tails to make it in Smash Ultimate? Like, is it possible for Tails to make it in? So, I mean, some characters who are playable actually have spirits of their own, which means that they still have a higher chance of making it in. So is there a possibility where the characters from Smash Brothers Ultimate will actually be promoted as spirits throughout playable character? Like, is that still a possibility or something? Like, that's a question I would like to ask and get off my back, to be honest. Like, yeah. And another question I would like to ask is, are you guys planning on bringing back the feature in Smash Brothers where you get to create your own stage. 
I mean, that would be cool, actually, to be honest, in my opinion, at least, because think about it. Yeah, I'm not trying to be offended. No offense or anything, but still. It's written in your mind, but to be honest, I was wondering, will the um, stage creation feature come back? Like, to be honest, I'm wondering. To be honest, I would love to see the stage. I would like to see the stage creation feature come back in Smash Ultimate. That'd be really awesome. But to be honest, I prefer the one that's like Brawl than the one from on Smash 4. But add more features. Like, you can take in backgrounds from pictures and then. Then you can play the stage and all that. Like, if I had a, like, if they did that in Smash Ultimate, I'd actually take in, I'd actually get a stage from, um, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And then make that stage a thing. Like, I could remake the stage from the Rocky Lands in Smash Ultimate. That would be cool if there was a stage customization feature. Like, that would be awesome right now. I mean, it sucks that they didn't have that on the 3DS, but, I mean, you're bringing back everything, so will the stage customization feature come back? Those are all the questions I have to ask. Later.